Hello guys, Active MVP here, and uh, I just wanted to show you guys the absolute fastest way to open obsidian chests in Minecraft Dungeons and farm for uniques, just like this. I just picked this up out of farming obsidian chests here at the camp, at the mushroom, uh, that you can unlock after completing uh, all the runes getting all the runes and coming back into the church that's located in the camp and inserting them by pressing a button and then the door opens and there's two obsidian chests and a map to unlock the secret level which is a mushroom island full of mushroom cows and a secret boss how you do this, uh, how you do the glitch after you've completed, uh, collecting all the runes and all the levels, which you can look up a tutorial for that, uh, on YouTube, anywhere, just look up how to get all the runes in Minecraft Dungeons. Very easy. So, on my Player 1 controller is, uh, actually my secondary account, my Player 2 is my primary account, and, uh, with my first controller, this is a clone, so I'm gonna delete it. This is my secondary account's primary character and on this character uh, I did not open the chests nor did I grab the map in the room so if my friends join or a second controller uh, also known as your main account you can open the chests constantly every 40 seconds to a minute depending on how fast you are maybe even less if you're fast and you have good enchant enchantments and you're good with two controllers. Fortunately, my thumbsticks get stuck on one of my controllers, so I can farm it way, uh, way quicker. So, while hovering over your main character, you press X to make a clone, you press A. Then you press A to select it, and you start the game. The game's gonna load in quickly, because you're gonna be in offline mode to play local. Instead of making two players run down through the bridge, I make my controller auto run that way because it gets stuck. And then with my main character, I mean with my player one, I run through and. Oh, he got stuck over there. Open the door. No idea what happened. Sometimes that happens when you enter the church, you die. Uh, I don't know what causes it, but it is a glitch. So then you come in here, and there's the obsidian chests. I'm gonna open them, grab all the stuff on my main character, and then I'm gonna back out on my primary controller, <clears throat> leaving all the loading screens so you guys can see. I'm gonna delete my clone, make a new clone, load the clone. As you see, I've been doing this for quite a bit. I have 9,000 emeralds, uh, almost 9,500. I believe it said 9,462. <clears throat> and now that I've made my clone, I'm gonna make my controller auto run that way again, because it gets stuck, and I rolled off into the abyss. So now I have to run back up there, sadly. Oh my. All right, go back that way, controller. Alrighty, and I run back into the church. Make my controller auto run that way. Boom, boom. Alright, and I go and open the chests that are still here once more. The map isn't displayed, even though it hasn't been grabbed on this account, because both characters already have it because it was grabbed in another player's world. So, uh,. If you, grab a, if you grab the map in another player's world, then you will not have it displayed in yours, and your friends can always come and grab it at some point. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys use this to your benefit before they find some way to patch this, which I don't even think they could, because this uh, these chests are openable by every new character once you complete the trials of getting all the runes. So... 
Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and this helped you. And you can get many, many uniques and plentiful good things. Plenty, plenty good things. And there's many things I scrapped. Uh, all the stuff down below I categorized by power level. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.